Let's review this article, the seven really scary facts about your 401k. And then in the next video, I'm actually gonna share the video from Pamela Yellen herself. So this says, before you put another penny in a 401k, find out what the government and your employer aren't telling you that will scare the living daylights out of you. Here are seven frightening facts you should know about 401ks. Number one, your employer can and probably is making risky decisions on how to invest your money for you. Without Many employers are now automatically directing more of your pay into your 401k and automatically moving it into risky investments, even if you had previously chosen your own investments. <laughs> and most of that money is being redirected into target date funds, which lost so much money during the last market crash it sparks scrutiny from lawmakers and regulators. Many funds for people who pin their hopes on retiring in one year and had losses far exceeding 20%, and some funds suffered losses of 32 to 41%, according to Morningstar. Shockingly, stock allocations among those funds were found to be 26 to 72% of assets. Not to mention the fees charged by target aid funds are significantly higher than those charged by other funds on planned investment menus. The growth in a bank on yourself policy, which is what we call infinite banking, is both guaranteed and exponential. You can predict the minimum guaranteed value of the plan on the day you want to tap into it and every point along the way. Frightening fact number two about your 401k, the important decisions about your 401k are made by someone with no training or education in most companies. 90% of the country's employees' 401k plans are watched over by people who need no special qualifications and no investing expertise or experience. While many managers hire brokers to suggest funds, brokers are not legally required to pick funds with low fees. So a 401k plan manager who signs off on pricey funds could cost their workers tens of thousands of dollars over the long haul versus someone like me who is a licensed fiduciary. I do have a legal requirement to do what's in your best interest. Frightening fact number three, most 401k participants vastly underestimate the impact of plan fees. They can eat up to half of the income in some 401k plans over a 30 year span. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, fees of only 1% can slash the value of your savings by 28% over the next 35 years. You need to know how much you're paying in fees. If you don't know, you need to ask. 1% is very common. 2% is also becoming very common. With a bank on yourself plan, like buying a couch or a TV, all the costs are already included in the price. In this case, the premium. There are no extra, additional, or surprise fees. Frightening fact number four, the closer you get to retirement, the more your money is at risk. According to a cover story in Time Magazine, which I've previously shared, it stated that during the market downturn, the 401ks of 55 to 65 year olds lost a quarter more than those in their 35 to 45 year old colleagues. That's because in your early years, your 401k's growth is driven mostly by your contributions. But the longer you hold a 401k, the more market exposed it becomes. It's a twist that breaks the most basic rule of simple financial planning. Friday fact number five, don't try using the money in your 401k as a emergency source of funds in tough times. If you borrow from your 401k and you lose your job or leave your company for any reason and you're not 59 and a half yet, in most cases, you will be required to pay any loans back in full with interest in 30 to 60 days or you will have to pay income taxes on it and a 10% penalty. There are no such restrictions when you do an infinite bank. A very unique feature of this kind of policy is that when you borrow your own equity, your money in the policy continues growing as if you never touched a dime of it. Now, income taxes will take a huge bite out of your 401k withdrawals, and many people believe that they'll come out ahead tax-wise by deferring taxes because that's what the government has taught you. However, deferring taxes could actually result in, in your paying a whopping 118% more in tax, and that's assuming the tax rates never increase. Frightening fact number seven, the government controls how much you can put into your 401k or an IRA and when and how much you can take out. 
and they can change the rules anytime they want. If they want to make you wait until you're 68 or 75 to be able to take withdrawals without paying a penalty, they can do it. When you bank on yourself, you're in complete control. You can take an income from your plan when and how you want without penalties or restrictions. Which is why the creator of the 401k, or he's known as the father of the 401k, Ted Benna, went live on national television and said he created a monster he wished he could blow up and he is now putting most of his money into a 501k. When Ted said 501k, a 501k is not an investment. It is not somewhere you can put your money. It's actually referring to educational status of child organizations. He meant for it to sound like a slang term or an upgrade. I had a 401k. I moved my money into a 501k. It sounds great. What he really meant was bank on yourself, become your own bank, or as I call it, infinite banking concept. If you would like more information to see if infinite banking could be right for you, click my profile, go to the link in my bio, scroll down, and you can actually book a meeting right there on my calendar or shoot me an email if you have any questions. You can also comment IBC and I'll get back with you as soon as humanly possible. Thanks for watching.